Hello, folks. How are you doing today? Michael Zuber with One Rental at a Time. And one of the things I truly enjoy about this channel is every week, every week we have an expert bring to us information about a city that I know nothing about. And I get to ask all kinds of idiotic questions. So let's welcome Emil to the show. How you doing, buddy? I'm great. I wouldn't, I wouldn't call myself an expert, but uh, yeah. someone who's done 20 minutes of research. <laughs> Hey, that's, that's 20 minutes more than I have. Uh, but again, folks, what we're doing is we're bringing to you other cities across the country. Uh, I do bring my experience from 20 years of investing. I do ask some questions because again, a lot of you are looking at other markets. So uh, we do that every week. So what, uh, what market do we have on tap today? So we covered Orlando last time and I saw a couple comments for Tampa. So okay. we're keeping the Florida theme going with Tampa today. Yeah, it's funny. I, Florida is on fire. I just, uh, I think it was yesterday, maybe the day before in the daily financial news, I, you know, I uncovered a, a fact that 900 people a day are moving to Florida. Uh, a lot of, a lot of East coast folks and that. businesses and yeah, Florida's on fire. So uh, what, what do we got about Tampa Bay? All right. So by the way, just for the record, I think you ask fantastic questions. <laughs> and I think it's a good model for, for people who are like looking into these markets, you ask the right questions. You're thinking about these the right the right, right way. So I appreciate that. Kudos to you, sir. I do try. I really do. I try to have fun, but yeah, I am trying to, to help. So thank you. All right. So our MSA name for Tampa, we got Tampa, St. Petersburg, Clearwater, Florida is our MSA name. <laughs> I just, I look forward to the names. I think it was like Chicago, just like Chicago. <laughs> and all these other ones are like, Rrr. yeah. Okay. Anyways, right. It's funny. Uh, any guesses on our greater MSA population? Oh yeah, I'm gonna go 2.4 million. We got 3.2. Oh, is that our first one over three? 3.2 million. Yeah, and that's number 18 in the country. So they're in the top wow. 20. I had no idea. This is the fun thing about doing all this research. I get to see how big each city compared to what I thought it would be. Yeah, I would. I don't know that. I mean, I think I'd have lost that bet too. Top 20 over under. I think I'd have said over. All right, they're number 18, huh? Okay. Wow. Yeah, okay. they cover, so Tampa's MSA covers 3,331 square miles. So it's, it's on the bigger data. side. Yeah, it's on the bigger side. Okay. Yeah. And then our city population uh, is 400,000, which ranks it at number 48 on the list of cities. That's probably where I would have put it. Yeah. Okay. And our city covers 113 square miles, according yeah. to census data. So it's tiny. Yeah, comparatively speaking, right? 3,000 down to 100 and whatever. So, okay. Yep. Any guesses on MSA population growth between 2010 and 2019? Oh my God. This is, uh, I'm going to guess it's the biggest number we've seen. The biggest number we've seen, I think, was six and something. So, I'm going to go 7.1%. I think the biggest we've seen was like 15, 20%. Oh. I think it was either North Carolina, Raleigh, or, or one of those. Tampa came in at 14.8% MSA population growth. Double digits. Wow, that is, again, we're thinking, again, let's think about that. 14% on a 3.2 million number. So that's like 450,000 people in 10 years. That's, that's a lot of people. I mean, that, that's so many people. You start thinking about the roadways and the infrastructure and the, and the, the, the planning not being ready for all those people. I mean, that's, that's a lot of people. Yeah. What, what I think would be curious to look at some of these big Florida markets that are having this resurgence is what happened at, like during the great recession, was there a lot of inflow before and then do they Ooh. boom and bust a lot, right? Is Florida. Boom well, they and certainly bust boomed and bust real estate, but I don't, I never looked at population. You're right. That would be interesting. Same, same. I never looked at population. Hmm. Okay. All right. But that would be interesting. That's homework for someone. If you're looking at Tampa, go ask yourself what happened to population like 05 to 10. Go, go check it out. Homework. Yeah. Let yeah. us know. Leave comments yeah. below. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Uh, help the rest of the channel out. Yeah, that's right. Go right. find the article and put the link below. <laughs> there you go. There you go. All right. City population, even larger growth, 19.1% growth between 2010 wow. and 2019. That's 80,000 people. That's Wow. Yeah. It's no joke. All right. uh, okay. Guesses on unemployment as of March, 2021, according to BLS data. This is Florida. This is Tampa. Uh, 
I actually don't know anything about Tampa. Um, 5.8%. 4.7. Oh, wow. Good for them. Okay. That's good. Yeah. Healthy. 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 Yeah, yeah. I think, I think what was, the, what is the, the median or the average right now? It's countrywide is 6.1, 6.1. Yeah. There you go. All right. So they're doing better than, than better. Yeah. Way better country. Yeah. 4.7. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. All right, our median household income in Tampa, according to census data, 53,833 as of 2019. Okay, that makes sense. Yep. All right, moving on to our number of units of housing stock. This is according to John Burns data, 1.45 million, which is 28% renter occupied. Oh, so that's, that's the first, that's, I don't know that we've seen that too many times where the you know, over 70% owner OC, right? 72% owner occupied. Very few. Yeah, we haven't seen a ton of those. Yeah. So that really bodes well for the the whole, you know, snowbirds or whatever you want to call them, right? They sell their place in Canada or the Northeast, they move down, they buy something, they live on, you know, they live the rest of their years there. That makes sense. Yep. But if you are a renter, can you imagine the competition for rentals right now? Woo. You got the population right. growth, you got good on employ, you got good employment got good salaries over 53 grand a year man i'm guessing rents are screaming higher in tampa man yep yep we're gonna get to that but you're right it's uh it's it's this market where you know we don't see 28 per, we don't usually see 20s in terms mm -hmm. of renter occupied it's usually in the 30s and yeah. usually the 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 cities that we've seen that are in the twenties are like super affordable cities where, yeah where people you know the average person can easily buy a home Whereas Tampa, we're going to see a little bit different dynamics. So, you know, okay. what you might be talking about with vacation homes and people moving down there for retirement and all that could be playing a big factor. Okay. All right. 2020 single family permits, 16,027, which was up 9.3% year over year. Okay. Yeah. It's healthy. Okay. Looking at our entry level single family home price, which is a home that recently sold for a price equal to 80% of the market's median sales price. Any guesses? 237. 194, 200. Mm, so I got the median. So 80% of 237 is 190 something. So, okay. So under 200. Okay. Yeah. 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 Again, 200 is, on a 50. 53k income you could afford that totally, totally. be tight be a little i tight. think when we covered orlando last time mm -hmm. last last week we covered orlando the home price growth since 2019 on that on that entry level home price was like 12 percent and orlando has been a, a screaming hot market tampa 16.1 percent oh! growth since 2019 there you go population income jobs i mean that's folks if you want to run a good city have population growth, have low unemployment, good salaries, screaming real estate prices. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Jesus, 16%. So oh, my God. Yep. And this is all according to John Burns data. Our existing median home price is 256500 Yeah. For Tampa. Sense. Okay. Our median single family rent on that entry level home of 194.200 is 1,572. Oh, I would have guessed a little higher. It's only 1,500. Okay. But what's interesting is our rent growth on that entry level home since mm -hmm. 2019. You know, a lot of a lot of the ones we've been covering lately, they've been anemic. It's like three percent, two percent. Tampa, six point four percent. There you go. I'm telling you, I I called it right. Good jobs. You did. Population housing rents go next there we go yep so our single family gross yield came in at eight percent for tampa yeah and house home occupancy rates 91.7 which is a little bit on the lower side as well could be yeah that's the whole second home tampa. market stuff yep all right moving on to our qualitative stuff so employment stats our largest employers in Tampa include Publix, supermarkets, Baycare, healthcare systems, Walmart, Verizon, mm. Teco Energy, Mac Dill Air Force Base, Times Publishing, and OSI Restaurant Partners, which is the operators of Outback Steakhouse, mm. Caraba's Italian Grill, and Fleming's Steakhouse. Oh, didn't know that. 
Yeah, again, their their employment base has got to just be pretty diverse, right? Again, 4.7%, 53K median income, 200K price. I mean, dude, Tampa seems seems like a healthy market. It, it seems like it's got yeah. a lot of good things going for it. Absolutely. We have, uh, I was able to find it. one, two, three, four. Eight, eight Fortune 500 companies located in Tampa, which include technology industry, public supermarkets, which we just covered, Tech Data Corp, mm. Apollo Global Management, Bloomin Brands, Centene Corp, Jabil Inc., Jabil, Roper Technologies. So eight Fortune 500 companies in Tampa. I, uh, I don't know that I would have guessed that. Fortune 500. Again, I know nothing about Tampa. And again, it's obviously a weakness, a bias, but I don't think I would have guessed eight. I'd have guessed under. Yeah, same. I was surprised by eight. And then last unemployment, uh, high growth industries in the Tampa metro area include financial and professional services, information technology, life sciences and healthcare, manufacturing mm. and distribution and logistics. Yeah, again, I... Tampa seems to me to be with that, that economy that's just kind of very diverse, kind of not, not single uh, dependent on, you know, oil and gas or, you know, uh, tourism or something like that. Seems pretty balanced. Yep. Yep. Absolutely. Okay. Moving into our rental and real estate market stats. According to Zillow, home values in Tampa have grown by 58% over the last five years as of January, 2021. <laughs> Wow. Boy, I hope you own some rentals in Tampa, folks. That's crazy. Yeah, nuts. Uh, Tampa home values have risen by 10.4% over the last year and are predicted to grow by another 8.5% over the next 12 months, according to Zillow. Hmm. Okay. And then of our 87 neighborhoods in Tampa, we got Sunset Park as the most expensive with the median listing price of Nine hundred and forty-two thousand five hundred. Let me guess. They're on the water. That's <laughs> just a guess. <laughs> probably a good guess. <laughs> it's probably a good guess. <laughs> I would agree with you. That's funny. And then we got on the other side, East Tampa as our most affordable neighborhood, where the median listing price is one hundred eighty-nine thousand nine hundred. And this is all according to Realtor.com data. Very cool. All right. All right. Last but not least, our fun, meaningless mm -hmm. quality of life <laughs> and random accolades. There you go. So in 2020, uh, Tampa and St. Petersburg were named the busiest travel destinations, according to global hospitality benchmarking firm STR. Who knew? Even in 2020. Yeah. The cost of living index from the Tampa Bay Economic Development Council reports that it is cheaper to live in Tampa than many other large metro areas, such as Atlanta, Denver, Phoenix, Orlando, and Nashville. Yeah, I think based on what we've talked about, I, again, Tampa just seems like it deserves a look. Yeah, yeah. Rated, uh, last, last one here, rated by U.S. News and World Report as the number 32 best place to live and number 20 best, best place to retire. Very cool. And that's Tampa for us. Oh, man, this is a lot of fun, folks. Again, folks, how do we do this? We leverage Roofstock. Roofstock has an awesome platform for you to go and see what is being offered in other markets. Uh, we've shown you the app. There's a playlist linked below called Roofstock. Uh, let us know what other cities you want to look up. Uh, there's also a link below if you want to get a thousand bucks back if you ever buy something on Roofstock. But again, I use Roofstock to just look at other cities, see what's going on. Lots of great metrics there. Use the link below, register. If you buy something, you get a thousand bucks back. Uh, any closing thoughts, Emil? Uh, no, I'm always having fun and looking forward to our next city. You got it, buddy. Take care of yourself. Thanks for doing this. Thanks, Michael.